Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm Chris. And we're Super Comic Bros OKC. Join us on our journey to open our first comic store. Alright, welcome back. We have some more cool stuff to show you. I have more pops. More pops. More pops. Let's see. The never ending pops. Maybe we should call this series the Pop Unboxing Series. Yes, yeah, Super um, Pop um, Brothers. Um, pop. <laughs> <laughs> um, pop a can. Okay, so these are all going to be like DC Pops. DC, huh? DC Poppers. And I think we're going to start with. Dun dun dun! Mm-hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger's <laughs> version of Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Jill. Come on, bird boy. What have you got? <laughs> All right. Can you save the bird? Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was pretty bad, but yeah. I loved it, man. I love all sorts of I though. thought it was a interesting casting choice. He yeah. was the only guy that could lift the suit. <laughs> yeah. That's He's like, "Give said. me that big gun prop. Put it in flavor 32." Summer Convention 2020. Mm-hmm. That is cool that he's all shiny. He looks he's all frosty. He's frosty. Of course his suit frosty. runs on diamonds. The face of diamonds. <laughs> Come on. You know you want to give me your diamonds. Uh, yep, there he is. That's him yeah, for that's, sure. That's the uh, Schwarzenegger yeah. version of Freeze. Yeah. 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 All right, next. Uh, we'll go for some Harley Quinns. Harley so Quinns? Got, you uh, have multiple? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude. Yeah, we have almost all the Harley Quinns, probably. Um, this is the Arkham Knight version of her. Wow, she's really close to the edge of the plastic. Yeah. You've never seen them that close. Uh, yeah, sometimes they get like that. Sometimes they just be like that. Yeah. She's uh, one of the earlier ones, too. I mean, 72, I think it's up to 1,000 now. It's like, oh, wow. Jesus. That is cool that they did them for the Arkham Knight game. I think they did them for all the games. And this is the uh, Mad Love version of her. When she's like in the nightgown in the crazy mm-hmm. Harley Quinn animated series head. Yeah, Harley Quinn. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a really cool character. I mean, uh, next to Joker, I mean, she is probably the best Batman villain because she is a psychiatrist. Uh, and she's a psycho. Batman's got a lot of problems, and that's why she can always <laughs> psychoanalyze and mess with Batman. Oh, well, yeah, she does <clears throat> to everybody, though. It, she and it, it, she, it and always begs the question if she is... Like, really just playing games with Joker and Batman? No, no, dude. She, <laughs> she was mental with Joker. Like, yeah. she was like, could not Upset. leave him. Yeah, obsessed. she's obsessed with him. Like, even he was like, oh, God, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like, how can you even like me that much? But, yeah. Uh, Birds of Prey, that movie, it was all right. But they tried their hardest to, like, make... Harley Quinn not look good in that movie. Like, it went from, like, Suicide Squad, where they, like, exploited it, <laughs> to making her wear, like, trash, basically, like, trash can stuff. Yeah. I mean, it was a good movie still. I, I liked it. Okay. This is her incognito. <clears throat> incognito. Who is that? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Uh, and then we've got the Arkham Asylum version of Harley Quinn, and then which is even it. earlier than the last Arkham Knight <clears throat> one. Yeah, that's the Joker that I had. The uh, okay. that was one of the first ones I got was that Joker, and then that Star Lord. <clears throat> this is a pretty cool Harley Quinn. She's all mm-hmm. in the nurse's outfit with the name tag and all. Shut <clears throat> How's that break? There's the Ebenezer Scrooge version of Batman. <laughs> That's the one I was talking about last time. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. even got the candle and everything. That is cool. That is cool. I like that. That makes me all warm and fuzzy. Batman is Scrooge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's kind of a he's kind of a downer, man. Batman. Batman I mean, yeah. 
I mean, dude. his whole origin story, everybody should know it by now. Yeah, I know. It happened like 30 years ago, dude. And it's like, come on, Batman, get over it. No. No. Uh, yeah, there's there, the, there it is. There's the there's one you this, were talking about. Well, it's the platinum version of them. Oh, so that's like a chase, right? Um, it's just an exclusive. It's like a Target exclusive, which I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't even know I had that one. I don't even know. I was just in there. I, I can see myself in his face. I can see myself in Joker. <laughs> Love that That's Joker. Cool. cool. They they released different ones of the same number. Hmm? Didn't know that. Didn't know Very that. Nice. Very interesting. All right. Yeah. So I guess we'll continue with Jokers. There's Jack Nicholson Joker, That's of course. Cool. That's a cool one. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I would, I would, uh, I would probably have this one posted up somewhere if I if I owned it. I have the Batman somewhere. Nineteen eighty nine Joker, Jokester, and then we'll of course you know we'll end it with the Heath Ledger Joker. Oh yeah, the epic Heath Ledger Joker from um, the Dark Knight. Man, I know those Dark Knight ones. I think he's the one that's the least expensive out of them, but the other ones are, like, ridiculous now. Really? Like the Joker bank robber? Yeah, that one's worth a lot. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> um, okay. The Batman's worth a lot, too, because that's when they were first coming out. And, of course, you know, people didn't really... I I'm, I'm need to check and see how much he's going for now, but... I don't think he was worth as much as the other two. Especially. It actually has a picture of Heath Ledger on the back. This mm-hmm. is crazy. That's pretty cool. All right. So we're done with this section. Let's uh, take these down and get them another. It's going to switch up, I promise you. It's going to switch up. I hope so. No, it's fine. <laughs> don't get serious, look. It's okay. <laughs> you can believe me. We got Batman Forever. Oh, and he's uh, got the question card. Is that Val Kima? It's Mr. Val. Yeah, it was actually going to be... Uh, Tim Burton was supposed to direct it. It was going to be called Batman Continues or something like that. And it was supposed to have Michael Keaton and Michelle Pfeiffer again. And I think Two-Face was going to be in it still. Yeah. And... Is the suit uh, on that one as realistic as the one in the movie? Does oh. it have the bat nipples, you mean? <laughs> in the bat Did butt? Val Kilmer have nipples? I think it did. I think that was the first movie that showed him. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're getting a little bit too excited over there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he got them bat nipples. It's on the air. <laughs> they are ticky day in the world. Nipples. Back nips. No, 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 no. All right, so this is Murder Machine, Batman. And, uh, yeah, this is like an evil version of Batman. Yeah, that's the... uh, This is whenever the 80 years is going on and they were making, like, every Batman that was known possible. Yeah, was that... Isn't that part of, uh... What's it called? Uh, The Batman Who Laughs series? And this is the one that, um... Hooked in, basically took Cyborg's mainframe. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah, there is like the metal Batman, yeah, Batman metal or something. Dude, there's a whole bunch of storylines in a short period of time. So badass, it was so badass. The Batman Who Laughs series is ridiculous. So, Mm -hmm. way it starts out is that Joker is killed and since. Uh, so Joker has had this planned ever since he he does something to uh, I think it's right after he kills Robin you know yeah uh, Batman ends up killing Joker yeah and, and he kills Joker in an alternate universe yeah he snaps his neck and then the poison comes out of his yeah neck. and he breathes it in and it's, and it's like the, the Joker stuff it's like the most intense version of the Joker venom too yeah and it makes him go crazy yeah. and, and he's like Alfred. He like tries to call Alfred, and all he does is end up getting Alfred killed well, because he's already took over by the time he gets there. Yeah, he uh, ends up 
killing everybody (laughs) in his own universe and then he realizes oh i can travel to other universes and And i'll scoop up all these other batman yeah he's gonna scoop up all the evil batmans to destroy the multiverse because they realized all of the planets that they came from were being destroyed yeah they're falling apart yeah it was all the multiverses that fell apart like there was another batman um who uh picked up the gun he picked up the gun and shot oh. the killers of his parents, and then he has all these guns and stuff. And so, yeah. There so, was it this Batman? Check that out. Check that out. Is this the Batman, Dark Knight series? The Damned Batman? Batman Metal. This might be the one that did that. Like, has the guns. No, it doesn't look like it. He was called, I forgot what he was called. Well, that's but, damned Batman. Yeah. He's, He's pretty damned. cool. Pretty cool looking. And then there was this Batman that couldn't defeat Doomsday. So oh, yeah. he became Doomsday to fight him. The Devastator. Yeah. The that was this. These are really cool pops. Uh, Dude, so, yeah, this the thing, Devastator was the one. Too. Oh, wow. That's heavy. So, yeah, he has. Uh, it was after Doomsday kills Superman. Mm hmm. And he continues to start kill people and destroy the city. Batman was like, the only way I'm going to be able to beat him is to become a doomsday. (laughs) And he injected his DNA inside him, became the Devastator, and destroyed the planet. Yeah, he killed everyone. He basically, uh, he was smart though. He was doomsday and had the same thoughts as doomsday and he created more doomsdays. Uh, and made everybody doomsdays, and they destroyed the planet together. And they all happily danced and doomsday danced together. Yeah, and it destroyed the universe that they, they all dooming it up here. So yeah, uh, that was a cool little row of uh, guys. I think the damned one was. It might have been the gun one. Uh, it's funny that he doesn't have a gun, but there's also Butcher Batman too. I think, but he only uses blades. <laughs> okay. Uh, but there's the original. Superheroes pop pin number one Batman. Oh, still in in the, in the cellophane, like a priced wagyu steak. Wagyu, wagyu. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. they didn't have to make him look like a pop though, but it's okay. Well, it is a pop pin, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it is a pop pin. <laughs> What is the pin? Like, what kind of pin is it? Is it just like a... It's just a big giant pin. It just has like a pin back on it. Okay, this one's not standing up. Because he's in the plastic. Alright, um... I'm going to continue to try. Let's see what we got at. Ugh. Pop Pez, Beast. Beast Head. Um, probably could have done without this one. But, I guess... Beast. What are you talking about? Pez has got to make the X Men at some point. Yeah, but you know they could have done better X Men. Who's better than Beast? Um, I have at least four or five names in mind. <laughs> really, better than Beast? Better? Five? I could think maybe a couple. Um, who's better than Beast? Uh, Wolverine. How? Uh. Beast doesn't have healing factor. Yeah, Beast is smart, though. He would never, like, just run in there flailing. Well, actually, Beast could probably think of a way to kill Wolverine. Probably. If you're doing, like, kind of Batman type. I mean, especially if it's, like, time to prepare. No. No, Beast Beast, Beast would probably have something on everybody. Yeah, he he would be definitely have that Batman. Yeah, yeah. But uh, talking about, like, a fight and just, just happening. Then, uh, yeah, Wolverine sorry, probably. Wolverine's gonna destroy. Well, Wolverine kills a lot of just people just fighting him. Yeah. Just because of his healing factor. Exactly. Even uh, if he didn't have the Animanium Claws, he could still kill them. Rogue? Uh, Rogue and him are about the same strength. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think he could take Rogue. Man, I wish I had my 1992 Marvel statistic cards. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had my Marvel statistic cards with me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Beast is at least six power. <laughs> and Marvel Girl was only five. 
<laughs> and then Rogue sucked her powers away. So she would only have six at max because she only started with one. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> let's let's move on. Get another product out. Get another. Oh, product. get get. What's that big boy? What's the big boy? Ah, it's the Dragon Zord. Dragon oh, Zord. It's the Dragon Ultra Zord. It's the one no. that's like combined together. That's to the make white and green. That's the Diplo Docus, the Dragon Zord, and the. Tiger Zord put together? It's like yeah, the that's ultimate... uh, all of the White Rangers, right? All of the yeah. white and green. and Actually, I think it's just the Dragon Zord and the Diplodocus. It's just the dinos. Because I don't think the, the Sabertooth Tiger didn't. But yeah. yeah, it's pretty ridiculous still, though. That is a bad ass pop. I like Goldar for some reason. Well, it's because he was cool until they made the live action movie. All right, that, that, he wasn't that is gold impressive. Dark. That is an impressive pop. Yeah, uh, that was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah. I have to say. All right, that's ultimate Zordage. He's got some Zordage going on. Zordon, because it all came from a guy in a tube, oh, yeah. a face tube. Yeah. More. <laughs> I don't want to do Xavier all the time. My X Men. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to switch up from the pops oh. and get some oh. different kind of oh. stuff going. Oh. So, I got this guy from My Little Pony movie. Oh, he, he, that was pretty, pretty neat good looking. Good sculpts, though. Yeah, this is like whenever they made it into like an anime type thing. Uh, that does look pretty neat. If that thing like came to life, that would be terrifying. Yeah, he is pretty creepy. I think he's, well, obviously he's the bad guy. It looks very Disney, actually, more than anime. This guy's a little anime character. Apocalypse pony. They look <laughs> apocalypse pony. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that guy looks pretty, pretty hardcore. Yeah, dude, man. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually worth something because everything from this line looked uh, that good. So it's like all the characters. But you know, it's just something that I'm not that into. Oh, look. It's got a... Oh. It's a loose roo. <laughs> Is that the loose roo? It's a loose roo. All right. Yeah, this is the Amiibo we looked at last yeah. time. Yeah, you get to see him up close this time. Take him on out. Let me take him on out. You get to look out. how close he does a shin <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Just a have Japanese it. guy taking in a fight. <laughs> Every time. Let's just put him on top. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So, got this hat. A hat? It's a Hello Kitty and All Might hat. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, it was back whenever they were, like, merging the Hello Kitty with the My Hero universe. Uh, merging? I didn't know they were doing that. Yeah, like, all of the Hello Kitty and friends, like, cosplayed My Hero Academia people. And, of course, you know, Helly Kitty did All Might. Mm, baby. See that? Is that mine? Uh, no. Is that for me? It's huh? he Hello Man. Kitty and All Might. Yeah, you wear hats. Well, at least those types of hats. I could. <laughs> you could? If it had Hello Kitty. You want to zoom it into that, baby? All Might. Because it's kind of shiny. Maybe get a zoom in on that guy. Get a zoom in on that guy. Yeah, see him? Yeah. Guy. See, look at how cool that little pony guy looks, too. He's like, <laughs> Alright, so. Uh oh. Overwatch. Overwatch Monopoly. Monopoly. That's pretty neat. Yes, it is. I can only imagine how you play it. I mean,. It's the same, right? I mean, um, like loot boxes respawn characters when you pass go. Oh, loot boxes and stuff. That's pretty neat. Capture objectives from fans' favorite maps. Hmm. That's pretty neat. They, uh, they... It comes with six cool little mini Overwatch figs. Collector's edition. Oh, some pretty good shape, too. Oh, it's brand spanking new. Yeah, it's still sealed in the box. Even got the plaster on it. 
We should just start a game show and like give this stuff away in the game show. That'd be cool. Oh, oh that's some Smurfs. Hey, <laughs> you got you got some Smurfs and a little vanity and the only chick one. What was her name? Uh, what was the Smurfette. girl? Smurfette. Smurfette. Durr. She's the one catching that, it forever. That... <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Smurfette. Yeah. To be the only woman. That was Gargamel's fault, too. They didn't even have women until he was like, I'm going to make a women Smurf! <laughs> and it's like, why? You know what's also funny? They had to make clothes for her. All the guy Smurfs. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, we only know how to make pants. Um, uh, dress, um, high heels? <laughs> what are these? Actually, Gargamel, like, equipped her with that stuff already. Oh, yeah? What a creep. That's what he was. Got a little Super Saiyan Blue Goku keychain. Oh, thing. cool. Wow, he's with a little. With the, uh, Weiss. Looks like he been eating too many sensu beans. Are doing the fusion dance wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also got another WW84 figure here. <laughs> WW. So uh, Wonder Woman 84. Uh, I guess it's been opened. Uh, but not opened enough. Because the black bag is still sealed. Okay. Is it still sealed? No, it's open too. It's double opened. But hey, it's got Wonder Woman with the whip. And she's one out of six, so she's not that special. Yeah. Well, that looks okay. It's better than the wings. Yeah, I'd rather have that version than the wings. Yeah, her head doesn't move either. Unless you really make it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make another little figure cry, Nathan. No, it's not going to happen. No. Mostly it's... <laughs> Okie dokie. So, so there's that. We got a lot of stuff out here. We could probably tear down and grab a, another row. Let's yeah. uh, let's do that real quick. Okay. Um, those were some pretty cool things. A lot of different stuff. I like this. I like it. I like. We're coming up it. around the end of the corner here, but okay. we have a few things left. Uh, have some old school Hot Wheels. Hot wheels in the way. Yeah. <laughs> on point. On point. Dude, I used to love Hot Wheels when I was a kid. Yeah? Uh, we didn't really have very many because they, I think they got, mom and dad got us one and then we just, like, we would, we made the set. You know, you make the set. Oh, dude, we used to, car. like, granddad used to give me the uh, car sets, like, the Hot Wheels sets all the time. Like, the crisscross crash and the... Yeah, but we would The ones with the la the big, giant, yellow gun and lasers. we would hurt each other. I remember, well, I, yeah. remember <laughs> I remember throwing a Batman's Hot Wheel at your freaking face. Oh, yeah, I do. I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I remember it piercing my cheek. Yeah, they're made out of metal. And the was, 1989 Batman also had metal like fins on the back of it. Yeah, yeah. it was it was the it was the one from Bat Batman Returns. It was a long one. It's about that long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I chunked that. Sh right yeah, in his face. Like, <laughs> I remember going. <laughs> I remember you going. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of. I think it was because, uh... And then Dad came Matt. in there and was like... It was our older brother that was like, if you jump on the <laughs> in the pit, it's a portal. If you jump in the pit, it's a portal. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I jumped in the pit, and you were like, ha! Yeah. And then I had to go in the room because I was screaming and yelling and crying. And I was sitting in the room, and you were all smiling, playing. Because my turn got skipped because it's we play until we died. Yeah, that was awesome. And then I oh, yeah. threw a... See, that's what you get for... <laughs> you get a hot wheel thrown at your face. You get a hot wheel thrown that's at your face right. for I remember, lying. I remember for nailing fibbing. you with a fat farm guy a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You know, remember the little fat farm guys and they'll set in a little fat farm vehicle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, man. <laughs> we we threw a lot of toys at each other. That's probably why you started keeping all your toys in packages, <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't throw them at you or destroy. Well, actually, you know, they always came up disappearing too. Yeah. Someone was a magician back then and just made all my toys disappear. I liked playing with toys and then breaking them and hiding them. Oh well, that's one half the story. <laughs> Thanos, pin pop. It's cool. He's like, I'm going to crush you with my hand. That doesn't have the infinity gauntlet on it. There's number two. Yeah. I think what was number one? He just one? didn't have. He just was number one. Spider Man. Uh, that was Iron Man. It's Iron Man, of course. He's always been number one. Number one stunner. Only as of late. Thanos. I cannot uh, make. Anything stand up that you're pulling out. We got some back again. Some battle planet. Aurelius Zentar. And these are guys that are like transformed. Bakugan. That turn into balls. I didn't get into Bakugan. I don't know much about it. <laughs> Neither do I. I guess I know that you get a, you get a little wrist thing and it shoots it out and it's I guess it's like marbles or it's like a little ball that turns into a monster. But, yeah, I mean, like, what do they do? Like, smash into each other? Or what do they, I mean? Uh, I guess so. You know, you, uh, are they like, whenever you throw it out there, it just transforms, and you're like, that's my guy I'm going to attack you with. Yeah, I think they, when they open up, you lose or something. I, I don't know. I'm, it's, it pops open. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a card game, too. They have uh, they have cards and stuff. Uh, Bakugan, we sold them at GameStop, and basically you have this arena, and they um, go out into There's the arena. There's Diamond Hydranoid. Ooh, and when they hit each neat. other, whichever one like explodes or falls apart, loses. I don't think these are supposed to fall apart. So, I mean... what I'm looking at. So, I guess whenever they fall out of ball mode... Yeah. They lose. Which, don't you think the first one that transforms should win? Because they look cooler when they're transformed? I don't know. Wouldn't you think that they could destroy the ball mode easier? It comes with two Baku cores. Okay. Alright. <laughs> what do I do with the Baku cores? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe someday we'll film a video of us playing Baku. <laughs> and trying to. And trying to play it. I think <sighs> that'd be fun. I don't Man, I, I don't know if I have the wrist rockets or not. I know you have like a set... Yeah, I think a, about yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Do. It's one of those big ones. Dude, you should go get that, and we should play it and make a video. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Bakugan it up for one. Yeah, just try it out. I mean, we don't know what's going on with it. Uh, why not? Got uh, a uh, Nick Fury shield wallet <laughs> in there, still in the plastic. No, it'd be cool if it said "bad mf'er." Yeah, that'd be cool. Because <laughs> it's Samuel Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather have the Pulp Fiction wallet. I used to have that wallet. I used to carry it around. I used to think I was real cool with it, too. I know you did. Sure did. You're like, I'm the cool guy now, because look at my wallet. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that still is your wallet. No. No, there's no way he still has that wallet. Or you might know. have it I somewhere. I don't know what happened to that wallet. Like well, we've got the loyal subjects, Winston from oh, the Ghostbusters. we talked about Winston. Winston is... Is the relatable guy. Yeah, he's, he's the best. He's the best one. Honestly, he's the most relatable. He's, uh... Well, I wouldn't say he's the best Ghostbuster, because the best Ghostbuster is probably... Spangler. Spangler. He's one of the glasses, right? Who? Egon. The, Egon is the best one, then. Egon was, yeah. And then he goes Spangler. Yeah. Or yeah. no, Spangler was... Pete. <laughs> Which one was Dan Aykroyd's character? He was Ray. Ray, okay, so it would go... Guy with the glasses, which Egon. is Egon. And then it would go Dan Aykroyd's character, because he's the other in he's inventor Ray. slash genius. And then it would probably go... Peter. Peter, yeah. And then Winston. And Winston. Because he was just... he he well, was see, the, he's last. He's just... The, he would be the last only because he wouldn't understand the intricacies of... He could use what they handed him, but he couldn't fix yeah. it. So that puts you at a lower level than the other guys. Egon about. is Spangler. Yeah, Egon Spangler. Hmm? It's, it's Peter Vankman, Raymond Vankman. Vance, 
Stance. Stance, yeah. Raymond was Dan Aykroyd's character. Yeah. Winston Zedmore? Yeah, Zedmore. Uh, it's on the back of this. I <laughs> you didn't have to look it up. It's on the back of the box. I could have just but, looked at I that. But, I mean, he's... Uh, he would be he's special because not very many people would stick around after the yeah. first going out with them and actually catching a ghost. I <laughs> would definitely be a ghostbuster. Yeah. That would be awesome. I, there should have been an army of ghostbusters. Yeah. Especially yeah. like after they released the containment system. Oh yeah. Yeah, after there there would be so many people ghostbusting. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, there'd be so many, especially after the first movie. <laughs> All right, uh, I know Blake will probably want this one. What is that? It's the Rocket League little cars. I remember those. Oh, Rocket League cars. Yeah, Blake is it just already... a mystery? Yeah, he plays Rocket League all Ooh, the time. Okay. Game is fun. Uh, Played got a couple times. Amiibo in here. Got Link from Link's Awakening. The new remake. Oh wow! One. <laughs> you got he is uh, the cartoon one, mm -hmm. little kid, little itty bitty Link. That's the uh, the one from Game Boy. Remember Ooh. we used to have. Actually, I still have that copy of it. And then the last thing, mm -mm -mm. it's gonna be this big ass Gwenpool statue. Oh man! Somebody came and asked us at New World Comic Con if we had any Gwenpool stuff, yeah. and if you would have had that. Yeah, you probably could have sold it. Probably could have sold it. But it was in this box. The whole so time. if you were at New World Comic Con, because I know you subscribed, <laughs> and you wanted to go and pull, get a hold of us in the comments. Yeah. Let us know in the comments or on Instagram. We'll, uh, or on the tubes. Zoom into that, honey. Tobe. Zoom into it. Oh, yeah. I had a buddy a long time ago. We thought it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's Gwynpool taking a selfie. We thought Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to be Juggernaut. Okay. Or, or it was either Juggernaut or Bane. Okay. And, uh, like, imagine if the tube got pulled out. He'd be like, my tome! <laughs> <laughs> my tome! No! Okay. Well, let's uh, pull everything back out. All right. Here we are again. Here we are again. I'll with let another you, uh, big old stack of still. I'll let you start her off this time. What are your faves? Uh, my favorites are probably these Batmans. These Batmans Batman. are awesome. The 80 Years Batman and the Ebenezer Scrooge Batman. It's also very, very cool. I really enjoyed... Uh, a lot of these DC Pops are really neat. I really liked them. Uh, I like telling the story of the... Batman Knights. Crazy metal. Batmans. Yeah, those, that's really cool. I actually like this Crazy My Bats. Little Pony guy. Uh, he looks pretty neat. He's like something, if I was a kid, I would play with that. That would be my main villain. Yeah. He would take totally. on the rest of them. Um, other than that, the little Zelda is pretty cute. Uh, I like the Hello Kitty hat. And, uh... <laughs> so, yeah, what did you like? Oh, um, man, this yeah. Dinozord. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Dinozord, I forgot you were here. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, Dinozord. Um, yeah, I like the Quins and the Jokas. Awesome. And the Dinos. <laughs> and the Bats. And the Roos. <laughs> but yeah, also the Jokers, yeah. I like the uh, Heath Ledger. Got to give it up for Arkham Asylum version. And uh, these little knickknacks are cool. Like the wallet and all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I think overall the best thing on there is the Dragon Sword. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's the, the most like... The Dino Ultra Sword uh, pretty much takes the cake on these. Um, and tell us in the comments which ones you liked. And uh, watch one of these uh, videos that you see pop up. Um, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. There's Toshi. And there's a dig. <laughs> or two. <laughs>